The space is so f- dumb. The moment it trades sideways, it's like it's all over. It's because, and I get it, um, everybody's hopes and dreams are in a banana zone. That's what the banana zone actually is. It's a representation of everybody's hopes and dreams. I get it. Um, I, and I know it matters to people a lot. It matters to me a lot. And so when it doesn't happen, you start having that conflicting voice in your head is, what happens if it doesn't happen? What it doesn't happen? What it doesn't happen? I'm going to be feel stupid. Fuck this up. Really, just stick with the program. I went through in such detail in that two and a half hour show about why it's very, very, very likely to play out again. And I stick with that. Whether it starts next week, next month, or even September, I don't know and I don't care. What you can't do is stop turning on each other the moment the bloody thing turns sideways. It's ludicrous. Yes, sideways markets in the majors means a complete bloodbath in the stupid shit you picked up, which is why don't f*** this up. If you've spent any time in the crypto space, you're likely familiar with the term banana zone, coined by macroeconomic expert Raul Pal. The banana zone refers to the phase in the crypto cycle when global liquidity increases, causing crypto prices to soar. Last month, Raul announced that we were on the verge of entering the banana zone. However, over the past 30 days, crypto prices have declined, with Bitcoin dropping below $60,000 at one point and all coins experiencing significant losses. This raises the question, where is the banana zone? In his latest live stream, Raul addressed this question by analyzing nine different charts that reinforce his strong belief in the imminent arrival of the banana zone within the next three months. The first chart he presented was his overbought oversold indicator, which suggests that the bull run is just beginning. The second chart overlaid the ISM survey with the altcoin market, showing a close correlation and indicating that as the ISM is expected to rise, the altcoin market should follow suit. The third chart focused on the Fed net liquidity. Simply put, when the Federal Reserve prints more money, risky assets like Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies tend to outperform. The Fed net liquidity typically leads crypto markets by about 12 months, implying that a significant rise in crypto prices is on the horizon. Be sure to watch the entire video as Raul breaks down all nine charts and indicators, all pointing to the same conclusion. The banana zone is expected to commence from now until the end of September. Stop. You don't have time. Don't miss out this 2025 bull run. Educate yourself first ahead of the crowd. We have created the ultimate step-by-step -step crypto cheat guide that will guide you this bull run. Unlock the secrets of crypto and make smarter investments today. Now, by clicking on the link below to get your exclusive copy just under $10. So let's go on to the banana zone because I know you guys care about that. I've got a little presentation again from XPAM um, where, you know, we, as I said, we've got the fund of funds and we allocate to digital asset hedge funds to capture this move from $2.5 trillion to $100 trillion. And the idea is to capture that by giving it to the best people, because it's not going to be Bitcoin that does all the thing. It's going to be all of the tail. So we actually use the kind of GMA, GMI star macro overlay to also manage that. So we had a presentation today from Julian Bittle, who is uh, who runs the analysis side of it, who you guys may know from that two and a half hour marathon. If you haven't watched that, you should bloody watch that. That was an incredible piece. I'm really proud of that marathon. So let me share this with you. One is we have an overbought, oversold indicator for Bitcoin. We use Bitcoin because it has the longest price history. Um, and what, what it shows from how we built the overbought, oversold is that really we haven't even started the rally yet. We're only just getting into what's known as crypto summer, um, even though it, it's matching with summer. But the crypto cycles, macro cycles are not the actual seasons there each year. So we're now in crypto summer. Prices should start to accelerate. Next year will be um, autumn or fall. Okay, so we're not overbought. Altcoins, all about the banana zone. The ISM survey is the business cycle. The business cycle is dragging its way higher, still below 50. So the global economy is slow and the US economy is slow. Now, all our forward-looking indicators, and it was all in that big presentation I gave you, they're all rising. And so very soon, the ISM is going to go higher. And altcoins much like small cap stocks follow the business cycle. Why? Because you lot don't have any money yet. As soon as, as soon as the business cycle improves, you love money and stop punting. It's as simple as that. Right, so I'm eating my peanuts as I go, God, they're so good. Another chart, FedNet liquidity in altcoins is a percentage of Bitcoin total market cap. Um, FedNet liquidity leads by 12 months. It tells you altcoins as a percentage of Bitcoin should start rising. I, altcoin season is around the corner, which is 
the banana zone. Um, I actually don't even understand this chart because Julian's smarter than I am. Uh, it's the core risk indicator Z score or Z score if you're an American. Um, basically, just look at the pink lines. It gets to the top. We're nowhere near it. I we're not overbought, so nothing to worry about. Bed net liquidity against Ethereum. We should start to see Ethereum and the others move away from Fed liquidity. That's always happens because there's a it's an, a technological technological adoption curves. So we should see these rising. Um, Fed net liquidity is starting to come up after the TGA got drawn down, uh, in increased from the tax credit, the tax take, sorry. Um, and so we should start to see Ethereum do better soon. The other one, financial conditions, they're starting to loosen again. Global M2 follows it. As you know, Global M2 is another driver within this equation. And here's a bit of a money shot. Here's Bitcoin volatility getting right down to that 20% historic volatility line, 10 day. When it gets there, it leads to whopping fucking rallies, i.e. banana zone. And you see the size of these rallies, 83%, 85%, 214% in two, three, four months. And it also happens in Solana and the numbers are bigger. I mean, look at that September 2023, 521% in three months. That was only recently. We've forgotten about that because the space is so dumb. The moment it trades sideways, it's like it's all over. It's because, and I get it, um, everybody's hopes and dreams are in a banana zone. That's what the banana zone actually is. It's a representation of everybody's hopes and dreams. I get it, um, I, and I know it matters to people a lot. It matters to me a lot. And so when it doesn't happen, you start having that conflicting voice in your head is, what happens if it doesn't happen? What happens if it doesn't happen? What happens if it doesn't happen? F am I going to feel stupid if I f*** this up? Really, just stick with the program. I went through in such detail in that two and a half hour show about why it's very, very, very likely to play out again. And I stick with that. Whether it starts next week, next month, or even September, I don't know and I don't care. What you can't do is stop turning on each other the moment the bloody thing turns sideways. It's ludicrous. Yes, sideways markets in the majors means a complete bloodbath in the stupid shit you picked up, which is why don't f*** this up. Only have a small portion of stupid shit. They're fun to have. We like it. But if you have too much of this stuff, the moment the dancing stops or the music stops, these things collapse to the floor. So you, you, the... Uh, this is why I try and explain to you why to have the majority in larger cap tokens that have proven network effects that are working. Then you can speculate and be a true degen with the other stuff. If not, you're going to end up angry and bitter. And all you'll see on Twitter is some bloke who made 100x and you're like, it can be mean x. And before you know it, you'll go to zero. So please, please, please don't do that. A couple of technical charts. Bitcoin, it's hardly a technical chart. It's like, break 70,000. Fucking thing's going to the moon. Next stop, 100,000. So that's my technical, deep technical knowledge. Break 70, going to the fucking moon. Um, also known as the banana zone. Okay, Solana, post this on Twitter. Let's see if it holds. Looks like a perfect wedge to me. It's exactly what you want from consolidation. Should consolidate and uh, break higher. So let's see. Seasonality, another nice one. This is election years. Election years, you get this summer run into August, sideways, election, banana zone, end of year. So the whole banana zone, you can see the shape of it there with a slight kink in it over the September, October period as everyone gets nervous about the election. That's what we should expect. So soon, as they say here in Cayman, soon come. I don't know when, just relax over it. Here's another way of looking at it. This is uh, the Bitcoin halving, the boring zone, the banana zone. The boring zone, actually, I think this is drawn wrong. I would argue the boring zone on this would start in July. Uh, the banana zone would start in July um, and the boring zone finishes at the end of June. So it's kind of around now. It's pretty normal. And this chart, I think, is great. This is altcoins, ex-Ethereum, total, total market cap, last cycle versus this cycle. It's just beautiful. It's so cyclical. Works so well. And again, what lies ahead? Bananas. Tons of big, juicy, ripe banana. When does the real banana zone happen? The real banana zone happens October, November, December, and then explodes the following year. We go back to the seasonal cycle. We get this run here sideways, another big run here. I mean, this chart suggests that altcoins by this measure, market cap could 10x from here. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. It suggests they go to 7 trillion, which is where I'm starting to get to the, this is a 10 to $15 trillion cycle is where we'll get to on the way to $100 trillion. Raul Pal has shared his expectations for the much-anticipated banana zone, predicting it will begin sometime between now and September 2024 and extend until between June and December 2025. During this period, Raul foresees a dramatic surge in both crypto asset prices and adoption. He anticipates the overall cryptocurrency market capitalization will rapidly grow from its current approximate value of $2.5 trillion to at least $10 trillion by 2025. 
Raul predicts individual cryptocurrencies will experience significant gains, potentially tripling in price. Specifically, he projects Bitcoin will increase from its current price of around $64,000 to approximately $270,000 per coin. Even in a less optimistic scenario, he expects Bitcoin to reach at least $200,000 per coin. Additionally, Raul is particularly bullish on Ethereum, forecasting that it will outperform Bitcoin. He is also highly optimistic about Solana, predicting it will surpass both Bitcoin and Ethereum in performance. These projections suggest a period of rapid growth and significant value increases across the cryptocurrency market during the banana zone. Share your thoughts on Raul Pell's outlook for crypto, tech stocks, and the macroeconomic landscape in 2024 and 2025. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.